from the golden boy laying all the blame on King Rai's advisor to Jake Paul offering his two cents on the whole thing. Here's why Oscar De La Hoya flamed Ryan Garcia. The promoter is taking none of the flack and instead chose to lay it all on Ryan himself. After Garcia lost his streak to Gervonta Davis in April 2023, he complained of his team's lack of support and loyalty on social media. He said that no one was there for him after the match. And his team didn't even show up for the press conference. Ryan even claimed that someone from his camp betrayed him and he was left alone. The 24-year-old also thinks Tank's guys looked after him more than his own. This triggered De La Hoya, and he didn't hold back anything. He blasted Garcia and his manager for agreeing to a whopping 10-pound rehydration clause. Oscar tweeted that it's been two months and Ryan's still crying about the press conference, and he also added that Garcia has no one else to blame but himself for trusting his so-called advisor, because he was the one who pushed him to accept that nonsensical clause on the contract. And that was the only reason that Ryan lost that night. The Golden Boy also told King Rai to man up, accept his mistakes, and move on from them. He sure has a point there, because Ryan didn't look like himself in the ring. Davis was sharper throughout the fight, and in the seventh round, he landed a body shot that caused Garcia to go down on one knee. It almost seemed as if Ryan had just given up and didn't want to continue fighting any longer. The 24-year-old also admitted that he wasn't at his best after the match, because he didn't feel good at all. He was weak going into the ring and he could barely feel his legs under him. Ryan added that he forgot all about it when the fight started, so he doesn't want to pin it all down on the rehydration thing. And he signed the contract knowing what it meant, so he really couldn't blame it all on that. Garcia also revealed that he wanted to move up to 140 pounds, and once he has a couple of wins under his belt in the new division, he plans on taking on the tank once again, but without the rehydration clause. As I mentioned, Oscar was absent from this presser, but so were the Golden Boy executive Bernard Hopkins and Ryan's trainer Joe Goosen. Shortly after that, Garcia parted ways with his coach and hired Derek James instead. All the things that De La Hoya said to Ryan directly in the tweet didn't go unanswered, though, because King Rai decided to hit back. He told Oscar to stop disrespecting him in his career like that. Ryan also pointed out that the Golden Boy doesn't think that any of it matters, and that's why he treats his fighters like that. Loyalty is something that Garcia doesn't associate with his promoter anymore because he thinks that he can treat his guys like shit and get away with it. Normally, you'd think that the promoter would be more mature here and not engage with a young guy, at least on social media. But Oscar is different. He couldn't keep his mouth shut. And he responded by saying that Gervonta's guys, who Ryan claims took care of him, set him up to fail. De La Hoya also pointed out Tank's promoter, Al Heyman, never showed up to anything leading up to the fight. So how can Ryan blame Oscar for not showing up to one press conference? Garcia responded to this once again, telling the golden boy that he decided to become buddies with the guy he was supposed to be fighting. He also accused Oscar of not caring about the fighters and putting up a fake act all the time. Garcia told De La Hoya that he'd respect him more if he told him the truth, but that's never gonna happen because the golden boy is in it only for the money. They confirmed those allegations by slapping Ryan with a lawsuit. Like, does De La Hoya really think that going after his fighter like that would make him want to fight under his banner? I think King Rai's legal team sent a letter to Golden Boy Promotions demanding to release him from his contract, because they breached it themselves. The letter said that Golden Boy contradicted themselves by having an exclusive pay-per-view agreement with Dazen, even though Garcia was free to choose the network for his own fights as per his contract. It turns out Ryan had to pay $120,000 out of his own pocket as part of the step-aside fee, which allowed the fight to be aired on Showtime as well. In response to this, Golden Boy Promotions filed a public lawsuit and reminded Ryan that he got to where he's right now because of them. They don't want to let go of him just yet and want him to honor the rest of his contract. They did promise Garcia the best possible opponents and a path to the world championship. This simply wasn't going to go away like this, so Ryan's lawyers responded to the lawsuit with a statement of their own, saying that Golden Boy was supposed to promote King Rai and not malign him on Twitter and slap him with a baseless lawsuit. The statement also insisted that taking this thing to the court is a violation of the agreement itself, and the Golden Boy is trying to hide behind it to avoid addressing the contract breaches on their own end. 
This included the promotion withholding the bonus money from his fight against Davis, even though his contract stated that a loss to Tank, Vasily Lomachenko, or Devin Haney would mean that he was eligible for the bonus. Instead of rushing to the courts, the matter should have been resolved in mediation. So now, Garcia's gonna fight this lawsuit with everything he's got. And honestly, I think the damage is beyond repair this time. Canelo Alvarez had similar issues with the promotion back in 2020, and it ended when Golden Boy released the champ from his contract. You'd expect Oscar to know the mind of a boxer better than anyone, but that's clearly not what's happening here. De La Hoya allowed his ego to take the better of him, and he's probably going to lose one of the biggest names he has got. Ryan first signed with the Golden Boy back in 2016, and then re-signed with them for another five years in 2019. But it doesn't look as if the contract is going to see out its complete duration. A loss for De La Hoya could mean a win for another, because Eddie Hearn has his eyes set on King Rye. He wants to set up Garcia in a title fight against Regis Progre, but he insists that he's not going to interfere with Ryan's contract with Golden Boy promotions. Hearn knows that the 24-year-old wants to move up, and what better way to lure him away than offering him a title fight at 140 pounds? The matchroom boxing boss said on Fight Hub TV that Garcia can walk into his next fight immediately if he wants to do that, and there won't be any need to involve De La Hoya into any of that. Eddie clarified that he has never been in direct touch with Ryan or his manager, because he doesn't believe in stepping on the toes of another promoter like that. The man has no love for Oscar, but he still won't go around someone's back like that, and he was only talking about it because people had been asking him about the spat between De La Hoya and Garcia on social media. Eddie thinks that the whole thing was bizarre, but Oscar can do whatever the hell he wants to. Hearn also added that Golden Boy Promotions are only going to offer fights to Ryan that they think he'll be able to win, and that's why Progray's name was never on the table. Hearn may have avoided going too much into the battle between Oscar and Garcia, but Jake Paul wasn't afraid of speaking up on the matter. Even though he promotes fights for others, Jake has historically always sided with the athletes. Paul tweeted that watching a fighter and a promoter have an argument like that publicly is something that should never be happening, and problems like these are far too common in the sport today. The brass tacks, according to Jake's, that the fighter is the customer who hired the promoter to help them out and not rip their careers into shreds. The YouTube star also highlighted that the fighters are actually risking their lives every time they step into the ring, and that should always be taken into consideration by the promoter. They should also acknowledge the fact that the customer is always right. Jake does make some really good points. The responsibility to be more mature falls on the shoulders of the promoters, because these boxers are usually young. So, from Jake Paul offering his two cents on the whole thing, to the golden boy laying all the blame on King Rai's advisor, that was why Oscar De La Hoya flamed Ryan Garcia.